Hey everyone, hello. Uh, today I want to talk about something that's new uh, from my friends at X5. Um, if, you, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm always touting their products whenever I can. I use the, the wireless uh, gear for my guitar and my bass guitar and my acoustic guitar. It seems to work fine for all of those. Um, they're coming out with some other wireless things soon, uh, which I'll be doing some reviews on as soon as I get my hands on them. Uh, one of which is a really cool wireless uh, MIDI over Bluetooth. Um, and that's going to be beneficial for me because when I play my guitar through my uh, new downsized rig, uh, I'll need something like that to help me make my rig even more downsized. So today we're talking about the X5 P1. The P1 provides phantom power to condenser microphones. Let me show you why this is important and why I'd use it. This is the microphone that I normally use. This is a Rode NT2. This is a fantastic mic, by the way. And the reason I use it is because the setup for it with the, uh, the way that I record is so simple. It does need power. And the way that I power it is you unscrew this thing. And there is a slot there for you to put in a AA battery. Okay, so that AA battery powers this microphone. Plug a mic cable uh, there. And the other end of that mic cable, I just had this kind of custom made a long time ago, is this. So this plugs into my Canon DSLR. And this then provides the audio from the microphone to my camera. And I kind of prefer doing it that way because it's really simple. I don't need to record to any third party audio device and then sync it up later on. The audio and the video are, are synced because I'm doing both at the same time on the same card, same camera, if you will. So it's very simple. This is where the problem exists though. And it's not that big of a problem, but it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me now. Usually what happens is I go to shoot with this thing and at the last minute, I'm like, do I have a battery? Is there a battery already in it? Did I take the battery out? Do I have spare batteries just in case? Is the battery that I have still good? All of these questions are always unanswered because they just always are. So what I end up doing is, at the last minute, finding a convenience store that sells batteries and spending way too much on a AA battery to power the microphone. Um, and again, it's just, it's a, uh, so one way around that is by using something like the P1 to provide the power to the microphone instead of using a battery. One of the benefits of this is that this has a built-in rechargeable battery. So it comes with this cool cable, which I have yet to unwind, but it has a USB on both sides. You plug that side into a power source, and that side gets plugged into the P1's hole right there. So you plug it into there, you charge it up, uh, there's lights on here which tell you when it's done charging or not, uh, and it's pretty simple. Once you're done charging, all you got to do then is throw this in your bag and take it with you. Uh, and when you're done with the recording um, of the day, you just charge it right back up, and you, it'll always be good. It's, uh, you know, it's just always accessible, and it's just easy for me to get into a habit of charging things when I need to charge them. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. Same with the wireless guitar gear. When I got a gig, I just know. I just grab them, plug them in, and they're charged up before I'm, I'm ready to go for the gig. So this is going to save me a lot of time and a lot of headache even of trying to figure out if I've got batteries or not. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, your input is here. Plug the mic into that. Output is here. Okay, you just kind of plug everything up uh, and you're good to go. There's an on-off switch and when you turn this thing on, check it out. It's got lights, I like lights, and turn it off. And then you have a switch at the top, which lets you select from 12 volt or 48 volt phantom power. So regardless of if your mic takes one or the other, both options are gonna be on here for you. Uh, the road that I use is a 48 volt um, uh, requirement, so I'll just keep that on the 48 volt side, turn it on, and I'm good to go. Here's another thing that makes this kind of easier to use than the road. If we're taking a break and I want to save battery, I have to unplug the mic cable from here. 
uh, which again isn't that big of a deal, but it's something I have to do. Uh, that way it keeps the uh, battery from being used. On the P1, all I have to do is turn it off. And that's all I have to do. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's a metal housing. Uh, it looks like it's, it's going to last a long time. It's got rubber feet so that uh, if you put it on the ground, it's not going to slide too much. Uh, also helps to keep the bottom surface kind of protected and raised off the floor a little bit. Uh, so, how does this sound though? It all sounds good, uh, theoretically, in being able to use this, but what does it really sound like? Well, it's pretty transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some audio snippet. I'm going to count to 10. I might do it twice. I don't know. It depends on how bored I am. But I'm going to count to 10, and I'm not going to tell you which numbers are the road mic plugged into this, or if it's the road mic with the battery plugged into the camera. Okay, they're both going to be plugged into my camera, so they're both going to work that same way, uh, right onto the um, into my uh, DSLR. But the difference is that one is going to be battery powered, and one is going to be powered through the uh, X5P1. Uh, so here it is. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there it was. Could you tell which one was powered off of this, or could you tell which one was powered off the battery? Hmm, interesting. All right, so the answer will come next week when I tell you what the answers are. But what I want you to do is, in the comments, tell me which ones you think are uh, powered by the P1 and which ones are powered by a battery. Just put it in the comments, let me know, and next week we'll find out what the actual answer is. All right, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, there's a thumbs down, you just want to make sure you hit that twice. Uh, there's also a little bell icon, hit that and that way you'll get uh, all the new videos as they come up. Uh, including the follow up to this one which will tell you uh, which uh, part of that audio snippet was um, recorded using the P1 and which part of that audio snippet was recorded using a battery off the, uh, the Rode MT. Alright, so again, this is the X5 P1, there's a box, shiny, shiny box by the way. Who could, make, who could make a shinier box? I don't know. Does that focus even? I'm always in the focus, it seems like. Probably. Best, because I'm gorgeous. Okay. Uh, if no one has told you today that they love you, I love you. Have a good day. Enjoy everything. And I will see you next time when I post the results.